Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to another story series video. Today, in this video, we are gonna visualize the second part of our new story series. So if you haven't watched the first part already, I would highly recommend you to check that out before watching this. I would leave a link to that in the description and card above. Without wasting any time, let's drive straight into the story. The story continues with Hagoromo who was warning Naruto about the future Otsuki threat and tells him that he doesn't have any time to waste as they could be there any moment. I know both you and Sasuke are in weakened state after battle with Ishiki and need more power to deal with the upcoming threats. But even if I give my power to you, it won't be of much hope as the Otsuskis that are being sent by the Otsuski leader are far more powerful than him. Naruto asks, so if they were no match for Ishiki, what could they even do if there are more powerful enemies coming? They don't stand a chance against them. Kurama laughs at Naruto and told him he was same annoying and naive and haven't changed a bit. Do we look like fools to come all the way here just telling about the threats with no strategy to counter it? Kurama tells him that when old man Sage told him about all this, I was worried about you even in my afterlife. Our bond is so strong. Even if I am in afterlife and you are in living world, it keeps me worrying about you. You would always be like a child to me, even you have grown that much. This reminds me of the time when you told me that you were coming after my hatred and I told you that does the little brat think that he has all grown up? Both Naruto and Kurama burst into laughter. Hagoromo says would you two just stop it now as they don't have much time and tells Naruto that he himself isn't sure if it would work out but it looks like the best possible bet so he could even stand a chance. He tells Naruto that does he remember the Jubi Ten tales that Ishiki had hidden somewhere. Naruto says that Sasuke told him about that, that Jubi even has a renegade. Hagoromo tells him that the power of this Jubi was far beyond the one they fought during the fourth great ninja war as this Jubi is from the Otsuski dimension and all the planets Ishiki and Kaguya devoured together. All that energy lies in that Jubi now as none of Ishiki and Kaguya and their vessels remain now. All of their powers lie within the ten tails hidden somewhere by Ishiki. Hagoromo tells him that the power is that immense that despite being an Uzumaki, he couldn't withstand being a Jinchuruki of that ten-tailed beast. Hagoromo tells Naruto that how he separated the ten tails of the earth. He could give creation of all things ability to divide that ten tails like he did back then. You have to become the Jinchuruki of the new nine-tailed beast that would create by using this technique. But one last thing that I want to tell you about this, it won't be that easy to sweet talk like it was with Kurama as this beast would be purely evil. So be cautious in controlling him. For the Otsuskis, I would tell you that you need both Sasuke and Boruto's help to counter them. Naruto tells Hagoromo that Boruto is still little and feels a bit hesitated to bring him in his battle as he's still a brat and he's worried about him. Hagoromo tells him to have a little faith in your child because he has powers far beyond Naruto even had. He has strongly inherited the Otsuski's power and even has Momoshiki powers inside him. Hagoromo tells Naruto about the Jogen Eye that Toneri implanted in his son, breaking the clan's rule so he could protect the future. Naruto asks what's so special about this eye as you and Toneri are calling it Star of Hope. Hagoromo tells him that this eye is possessed by the Otsuski god and even the most powerful Otsuski strive to achieve this kind of dojutsu. It has powers beyond any dojutsu they have encountered. And it's a mystery as he himself doesn't know much about all the abilities of the dojutsu. But one thing is for sure, the full powers of this eye would unlock after Boruto becomes 100% Otsutsuki. Naruto tells him that he's worried about Momoshiki taking over Boruto's body. Hagoromo tells him not to worry as this eye won't let Momoshiki reincarnate within Boruto's body and Momoshiki would be living inside him as a parasite and a powerful source. Momoshiki would be regretting now to give this child a karma as his reincarnation can never be fulfilled now. His life is now being a power source for Boruto and he would soon realize it and willingly let Boruto use his powers. Naruto feels a little relieved after hearing this and thanks Hagoromo for helping him out for the second time. And both of them say goodbye and told Naruto that they believed in him and he can do this. The next day, Naruto awakes and after eating his breakfast, he asks Boruto to accompany him. He will train him. Boruto was surprised to know that Naruto wanted to train him. 
Naruto tells Shikamaru to manage all the Hokage stuff, as he has something important to do today with his son. Naruto asks Boruto to open a portal with his Jogan and lead them to where Otsuki Ten Tail is. Boruto tells Naruto that he has not completely mastered the Jogan Eye and he can tap unconsciously in using that power sometimes. Naruto tells him that he is the only hope now, as apart from Sasuke, whose Rinnegan he has destroyed. Only he is capable of using space-time ninjutsu and says he believes he can do this. He is the grandson of 4th Hokage and has strongly inherited his geniuses, so it won't take much time to master it. After hearing these encouraging words from Naruto, Boruto suddenly awakens his Jogan and senses the strong power of the Ten Tails. With that eye chakra detection ability, far beyond dimensions, and both of them travel to the Ten Tails dimension, where Kote hid it. Boruto asks Naruto why he has asked him to get here, as the chakra of this Ten Tails horrifies his soul. Boruto can sense the evil chakra of the Ten Tails with his Jogan eye. Naruto tells his son to move back, as he was going to witness something more like a miracle. Naruto moves towards Ten Tails and the Jubi, with his evil eye Drinigan glaring Naruto. Boruto says, Dad, what are you doing? It's too dangerous. Don't go too close to that beast. His chakra is purely evil. I can sense it with my Jogan. Naruto tells him to worry not, as he is his father. Boruto again says, Dad, but you no more have the Kurama. You make me feel worried. Naruto smiles, in performed creation of all things, Jutsu with a thunder flash that sparkled the whole dimension. The Ten Tails gets divided into Nine-Tailed Beast. Boruto was shocked to see his dad can perform such a Jutsu, as he has seen nothing this godly before. The Nine-Tailed Beast were right in front of them, and they were huge as compared to the Tailed Beasts on Earth, and their power levels were way beyond the Tailed Beasts on Earth. The Black Nine Tails was standing right in front of Naruto, staring at him angrily and told Naruto that he would regret for what he has done by dividing them. This Kurama Black Nine Tails, it even has a Rinnegan and looks purely evil, is about four times bigger in size than the Yin and Yang Kurama combined. That was inside Naruto after the fourth Shinobi War. Naruto performs a sealing jutsu and sealed the Nine Tails inside him, and with chains he constrained the other tailed beast and asked Boruto to again use his Jogan and transport them to Momoshiki Dimension, where only he can tap in, as Naruto wanted to keep it secret from all others. Boruto uses his Jogan eye to transport all of them. Naruto then taps into his consciousness and can see the evil black Kurama that he sealed inside of him. The evil Nine Tails tells him again, with anger, that he would regret sealing him inside him to control his powers and dividing his ultimate Ten Tails form. He says, I will kill you Uzumaki Naruto, and tries to attack, but couldn't attack him, as he's present inside the same prison in which Kurama was. Until Naruto opened the 8 trigram seal, Naruto tells him, I'm sorry for sealing you, but I have to do this as a Hokage to protect everyone. I would need your power for future threats. Naruto tries to annoy him by looking directly in his Rinnegan eye and asks, So you have a Rinnegan, can you use space-time ninjutsu with it? It means I don't have to rely on anyone to transport me. The fox stares angrily towards Naruto and tries to remain calm. Well, the story will continue from here in the next part. Stay tuned for it. It took huge effort to write, narrate, edit and make this long story video. As this is my first time making something like that, hope you would have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments if you want to see more content like this on the channel. This story series continuation will depend on the feedback and love from you guys. Lots of love for all of those who are watching till now. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.